Hey guys, it's SM underscore Lux Loves, and I'm here to do an actual full unboxing with you guys. I've never actually done a real unboxing with you. Usually I open everything up first to take a look at it, and then kind of film, well I guess in a couple videos that I've done it. So this is going to be my first unboxing with you guys, and as you can tell with the red sticker, I got it overnight to me. And I guess to give you a quick, oops, let me adjust my camera a little bit. To give you kind of like a quick story, I've actually never seen this bag before. Um, I've actually only seen it on um, YouTube from, I believe her name is like Slegna on uh, Instagram. So I will show you, I will link her YouTube channel down below. I can't remember what it is right now. It's like off the top of my head, but she's like one of my favorite like YouTube review ladies. So I'll definitely show you. So she had that bag, but she got it and it was like, I think like 10 years old and then um, I didn't recently get this bag until I saw another girl on Instagram that had it so I decided okay it looks super duper nice she likes it she loves it so I'm gonna get it so this box is basically my exchange from my backpack as you guys know I bought that caviar backpack and I decided I didn't like it so um, I decided to get the exchange for this item and I'm going to open it with my uh, Benchmade Paramilitary. This is the Mini Griptilian. I'm not the Paramilitary, I'm sorry. This is the Mini Griptilian. I want the Paramilitary, but it's a really big knife. Um, I know, I'm a Texan, so if you're wondering why I have a utility knife on me. But it is the best for just getting stuff done in your life. Um, I used to never understand why everyone had pocket knives all the time, but now that I'm older, I totally do. But let me go ahead and quit rambling and start opening this because I don't want this video to be like 20,000 minutes long. But at least then you kind of have like a general idea as to why I purchased this bag because I actually, like for real guys, sight unseen. I have never seen this bag before. I've never tried it on before. And to be quite honest with you, I wasn't sure that it still existed because the ones that I have seen on YouTube and such were usually vintage pieces in this specific size. So I guess I should stop being so vague. I did order a classic flap. Um, I ordered, I had an old medium large before, but I ended up selling that because um, it was in patent leather. It was a beautiful Bordeaux color and I loved it to death, but patent and I don't settle well together. It ended up the leather started sticking. So I ended up, um, basically rehoming her but I didn't really take a loss because I got that bag back in 2007 2008 and when I sold it the prices had gone up so oops well I guess you guys see my face now oh well and so I decided um to rehome her and I haven't had a classic flap since so this is going to be my classic flap um unboxing my first like actual classic flap in oh my god like 10 years that's so crazy okay I don't have enough room for this, but um, you guys are just going to see me all over this video. I don't know why I don't want to show my face yet. I think I'm just like scared. Like my family and friends are going to find me on the video like, you own what? Because no one in my family really knows what I own. I just kind of slowly, gradually take it out and I just act like I've owned it for like years and I just never go out so I never get to enjoy it. Um, I don't know how long I can keep that up for, but... Generally, um, I don't usually tell people that I have a pretty big bag collection. That's why I have a separate purse Instagram for my personal Instagram. But I'm like talking so much. So you guys are here for an unboxing. I'm like four minutes in. I haven't done anything. But so I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Let's go ahead and pull that baby ribbon off. If I can. How is this even? Aha. Uh -huh. It is so beautifully packaged, as usual. Um, I ordered this from Hirsch Lovers, as you can tell from the packaging. Um, I really, really enjoy their service. My SA Thomas is whoop, literally awesome. He is so, so awesome and super sweet and super accommodating and really responsive. Um, if you ever get the opportunity to work with him or if you're interested in anything from Hirsch Lovers, just ask me for his contact information. He's like one of the best essays I've ever met. Him and my Neiman's essay, actually. <laughs> So, here we go. I'm sorry, this is like a slow unboxing, but it's kind of like an exciting one for me because I haven't owned a classic flap in so long, and this is like the first time I'm ever seeing this bag 
So I'm just kind of like being really slow right now because I'm kind of worried. I'm like, oh my God, like I bought such an expensive bag, sight unseen. I've never seen it before. Like, you know what I mean? I can only go off YouTube and pictures on Instagram of people who have it. So I have here classic swab. I'm going to go ahead and pull it right out of its box. And of course, it comes with all the usual trimmings, you know, the booklet and everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the box over there. So here is my classic flap and her beautiful, amazing dust bags. I wish Chanel Boys came in these dust bags. I don't know why they don't, considering they're just as expensive as these bags. Of course. And I don't know if you can tell by the size. It is not a medium large. It's actually, oh my goodness, Thomas. You went out of your way to wrap this one. <laughs> I don't know if you watch my videos, but oh my goodness gracious. You just did it just to tease me early in the morning. Um, but no, I really appreciate such the tender, loving care that her slippers put into their items. Especially Thomas. Like, I am like over the moon and back about his service, honestly. He's been so nice. And he's been like a purse counselor as well as myself, so cute. So that's been nice. Okay, I can't... Okay, Mimi, I don't know how you open things without, like, ripping stuff apart, but I can't do it. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, um, if you guys haven't figured out yet, I got a small classic flap. So this is going to be approximately... Um, a little bit smaller than your medium large and I chose this size because from pictures and from a uh, Slegna's video um, her uh, proportions of the bag were really nice she tried them on side to uh, uh, side yeah side to side with the Chanel mini and I thought it was just such a cute size proportionally even though it only fits probably just as much as the mini but I thought it was such like a cute size and it still was that quintessential like classic feel. Um, but it wasn't a mini. And you know, I still kind of want a mini. I'm just, I'm not even carrying anymore. I'm just gonna rip it up. I can't do this medium, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so pretty and gorgeous. Um, oh wow, it is so pretty. It is. It's crazy because I, I've never seen it before, so it's like the first time. And so I decided to go with this size, even though I've never seen it before, because it gave me more of like the classic flap look without, you know, without compromising. Um, and also, like, it was so hard to find a mini in caviar, and I was just like, you know what? Like, yes, this is such a big price jump, but I think the size is perfect. I think it still works for casual. It still works for dressy. And it's still, like, very functional. Like, that is a really big back pocket it has. So if you guys are interested to know, the measurements on this bag is approximately 9 inches across, about 5 inches tall, and approximately, I want to say, like, 2 and a half inches uh, in depth, as told by Slegna's video. Um, I'm going to take her measurements as for realsies, because why wouldn't she give me the proper measurements? And then here is my uh, tag, if you guys would like it for a rough code. I'm going to cover up my serial code, though, for reasons like counterfeiters. And so if you're looking for this small bag, oh my goodness, you are gorgeous. But okay, so there's still wrap, there's still um, a little sticker on the CC, which I'm really thankful for. Thank you, Thomas, for giving me that. So, of course, just like your traditional flaps, it also has a double flap with the zipper pocket, which I'm not really the biggest fan of these zipper pockets. I love the kind of style and the classic history behind it, but I do find them, they just ruin your bag. But um, it has, of course, the traditional burgundy lambskin, and this is a fresh baby. Thank you, thank you so much, Thomas, for this fresh baby. He had to hold it for me for a couple of days, and it, I don't know if the lighting will show, but it has the normal, like, gray, um, not gray, the burgundy interior with the two pockets and the lipstick box, a uh, lipstick um, pocket, and of course this flap here. So I also decided to pay a little bit extra for the size small because you know what, even though it is small and it doesn't necessarily fit as much as say a mini does, it offers all of the amenities of a traditional classic flap, i.e. a big usable pocket in the back that's not so squished. 
it offers like the um, the let me see this pocket up front offers the two pockets on the inside so for me I just thought like for the extra money I am paying for more of the amenities that this bag can offer and then um, the only thing that was kind of tripping me out about buying this bag was that it has a really really short chain drop let me go ahead and measure right now I have my measuring here or my measuring tape here because that was the one thing that was stopping me from buying this beautiful beautiful bag it's because I hate short chain drops but I saw an Instagrammer I believe her name is SoCal Mom I will go ahead and link her down her Instagram for you guys she bought this bag and she had it sent over to leather surgeons out in I think it's like New Jersey or Pennsylvania and they replaced her chain with a longer chain so that she could make it cross body so after I saw that she did that and the way she told me is that what leather surgeons like what you can ask them to do is they can put in a new chain for you and then they keep the original chain so if you ever need to put it back let's say to resell it or to use your warranty with Chanel because obviously once you augment bags you lose your warranty with Chanel that they would happily do that for you and then for her like they replaced her chain they kept the old one, the original one, and the replaced chain looks literally almost identical to the real chain. And then they also sent her like an authenticity like certificate to show that yes, the bag is real even though she changed the chain. So I thought that was really nice. So after she told me it took her about two weeks to get that done and I think it was like $100. Like after she told me, she's like, it makes the bag so much better. I was sold on this bag and I purchased this bag from Thomas literally like the next day after I sat around and thought about it. Okay. I'm sorry I'm like really chatting in this video, but I literally am on two hours of sleep. I didn't finish my grant proposal until 7 o'clock this morning, and I didn't sleep at all until like yesterday. At, um, yeah, I haven't slept for 24 hours, and I only slept two hours. So let's see. So approximately the chain drop is about 16 inches and some odd change, maybe 16 and a quarter, depending on if the bag is like leaning back or not. So let's say about 16 inches. So if I go ahead and kind of give you quick mod shots of the bag. So I'm about 5'6 for reference. These are mid-rise jeans. This is where the bag would go. So literally, it basically hits where like a classic regular medium large flap would hit you. And so it's obviously too short. Um, I'm not going to crossbody this bag because these are... It's literally right under my, you know, bra. So obviously that's not going to work for me. So I'm definitely going to have the chain extended. But in the meantime, um, I am super duper elated with this bag. It is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I am so glad I invested in this size. So now that I have it in front of me and I'm seeing it for the first time, let's see what it can actually freaking go in here. So let me go ahead and get my phone. So iPhone 6 Plus, without any clips, goes right in there. I know this is going to fit less than a normal flap because it is a little bit more tapered at the top than normal, but I'm okay with that. And then, of course, my Empreinte Key Clay. Go ahead. I'm going to put everything in and then show you what it looks like inside. So, yeah, you guys are basically trying it on with me, getting my first kind of thoughts. So it goes in there. Okay. So I don't know if lighting will show you. But it definitely is becoming a kind of a tight squeeze already. I'm going to see if I can fit my little pretty fat four key holder with my headphones, medication, earplugs, yada, yada, yada. If I can fit that in here, like, honestly, guys, I'm going to be pretty freaking stoked. Um, okay. So it's definitely, it causes a bulge. I don't know if you can see that it's coming up. So probably not. Um, maybe if I rearrange it and probably size down my wallet, it's possible. But I don't really want to fuss with it right now because it's a brand new bag and it has lambskin interior. My four key holder with my key fob and multiple keys in there. I just flatten out the keys. I hate when you double up the keys because then they don't always sit well together all the time. So we'll do that. So I took out my four key holder with my medication and stuff like that. I'm going to throw that in there and so I can fit that perfectly fine laying vertically it doesn't cause any impediment or anything like that and then of course um, I have my lip gloss and from Buxom and a MAC lipstick let's see if I can throw that in there 
So I can definitely throw my MAC lipstick in the corner. And I guess I can throw my Buxom um, right on top. My MAC lipstick is right above my phone case there. And then I guess to make it easier, because obviously I'm not going to go around town. I don't always need my, you know, earphones and medication. I can just slip into the bag, you know, one little piece. So obviously my headphones, and I'm just going to go ahead and just throw them in the corner. So where my headphones are is basically where my lipstick is. There's my Buxom. My phone is right there where that mint color is. That shiny silver is my key. And then the black right underneath my headphones is my wallet. And it closes very comfortably. So this bag fits quite a bit. I don't know if it fits more than a mini. I've no, I've only owned a mini once before, but I don't I didn't ever use it. So I can't really tell you if it fits about the same. But I like that everything in here fits pretty comfortably. Um, definitely no complaints. Everything fits and I still have room to maybe throw, oh, actually, my glasses. See if those go right in there somewhere. I hope they go in there somewhere. Whatever. Okay, so I went ahead and just kind of tucked my glasses right up top. And okay, so it is a little bit hard to close. Like I have to aim for it because I have to like pull the uh, flap over the lock, but it fits seamlessly and it, oh, it is perfect. I am really in love with it. So yeah, so it fits quite a bit. It fits my iPhone, my key clay, my keys. It basically fits one less thing than my old medium Chanel Boy and my size up in the reissue, which is the same approximate size as the medium large. Um, I will actually do a comparison video between this and my reissue, since this is the small size and that is technically the medium large classic flap size, to just kind of show you a quick overview of like, hey, you know what? It doesn't, there's really not a difference in what they can fit. The only thing different is that I can't fit this one item, literally. So this bag is really awesome. So I guess it'd be probably the same capacity as a mini. Since the mini and the medium large, it's like maybe one or two items different as well. So given now that I've had this for like five minutes, I think if you're debating between the small, the medium, medium large, it'll be based on what do you carry, what do you intend to carry with it, and how do you like your bags? Obviously, this strap is too short, so I'm going to get it fixed. Um, I don't carry a lot. This is literally all the essentials I need, so I'm good to go. Um, and then, I guess it also is on price point. This is a big jump from the mini. The mini is $3,100 for the rectangular. This is $4,700. So it is a massive, massive jump. But I love the kind of classic flap kind of feel it offers. And I am super duper excited to have this bag. So this video is getting way too long. I'm probably going to have to speed it up, but thank you guys for joining me. Just do a quick overview before I say bye. And I absolutely love my new little baby. Anyways, it was a pleasure to show you guys my new bag and for you guys to open it with me. I will see you all next time, and I'll do a video to answer any questions on this baby soon. Bye!